well, let me tell you two stories. Let me tell you one where they did the right thing and got the coverage and how much it was. And let me tell you where they didn't and how bad it was. And these are two current issues of mine. And when I say current, I'm talking, well, one of them I'm still serving as an expert witness on. Case is, are you ready for this? $200 million. We're not talking a small case. This is a $200 million case where the issue is, guess what? Imprecise and incorrect language as to whether or not it is in fact covered. Now, this is serious. It's once again, deaths involved and the primary is refusing. The primary insurance is refusing. Then all the other excess layers that go above that, none of them pay until the one below them pays. So we're involved in that right now. They, I was brought in. They were not a client of mine prior. And I'm trying to salvage the language and say why they're still covered, despite, quite frankly, the fact that they could have improved their procedures to verify and be sure. Let me put it this way. If they'd have been using our system, there would have been no doubt it would have been verified. And this would not even be in the courts. It would not even be in the courts. So that's one where they blew it. Now, let me give you another one where they did it be, and they were correct. This is, I, I work with a lot of public agencies. I'm actually the editor of the California uh, Public Agency Contract Manual for Insurance. And I've done that for a number of years. And so we teach the risk managers and insurance people there how to do the things we're discussing here. In a recent one, this is just a month ago, one of the directors of one of my large city groups, and this is called a joint power authority, where they have like 100 cities all insured that they insure one another. They insure each other. So they each have a self-insured retention. Then what they do is then if the loss goes above that self-insured, they insure one another. And then if it's a really serious loss, it goes into their excess policy that they go and buy. Well, guess what? None of that is needed from within that group if... The cities have done what we said and transferred the risk by getting the two things required for transfer, which is to be sure that you're properly indemnified. Indemnified means they agree to assume your liability. That's number one. And number two, that they name you under the proper and correct additional insured endorsement. And notice in both cases, I say proper and insured because there is insurance in a contractor's or a vendor's or a third party's coverage for the contractual liability, that is for the indemnification they give. But one of the tricks of the insurance companies is they oftentimes remove, remove that coverage. So you have to be sure they haven't done that. That's number one, not just that you have the indemnity, but that it's still insured. And then number two, the correct additional insured endorsement and that it's laid out properly as it goes up the line with the more severity. So all of that to build up to say this one of my cities just completely 100% dodged an $11 million claim that was 100% paid by the third party contractor because all of these things were done correctly. And he called me up, the director of the group, and just said, Bob, I just got to tell you how happy we are, what just happened and what we did. So there's 11 million not paid because they did the right thing. Here's 200 million I'm fighting for. I came in late. They were not my clients. And had they been in our system and done what we say, we wouldn't even be having this case. And I wouldn't be serving as an expert witness. And, and by the way, that's one other thing I should mention. Basically, what I've learned and what I do and what I have incorporated into evidence system with the verification is just an accumulation of all these years of real world experience. I even in, in our contracts take care of things that have not even hit the courts yet, but that I know attorneys are trying to argue as they're trying to get out of claims. I'm already cutting those off within the contract to make sure that they cannot get out of claims in that matter. And mind you, we've not even seen cases hit the courts yet. So that's where I bring the, the wealth of experience that I have into the verification system. And when they do it, it works. When they don't, they get left holding the bag. Or in the case of Exxon, they spend a ton of money, a lot of time trying to get it done, which is what we're doing on the other case I mentioned.